Hello, uh, today we're sketching the graph of this nice rational function. We have uh, 2x minus 8 in the numerator and we have x squared minus 16 in the denominator. So whenever we're graphing a rational function, we have to find four things, four important things about this graph. <clears throat> the first of which is the vertical asymptote. So to find the vertical asymptote, we deal with the denominator. We want to solve that denominator. So x squared e minus 16 equals 0. So if we add 16 to both sides, x squared equals 16. And taking the square root gives me x equals 4 and x equals negative 4. So I have two asymptotes in this case for this graph. One of them is at positive 4 which is right in here. And the other one is at negative four, which is right through here. Okay, next we turn to the horizontal asymptotes and there are three things to look at. But basically it is determined by the degree of your numerator, which is linear on top, and the degree of our denominator, which is a squared or a quadratic on bottom. Now the quadratic has a higher degree than the numerator, so we call this thing bottom heavy. And every bottom heavy rational function has y equals zero as its horizontal asymptote. So we're gonna have a horizontal asymptote running right through the x-axis, because that's where y equals zero. Okay, so the next thing we look for is the y-intercept. Where does this thing cross the y-axis? <clears throat> we find that by plugging 0 in everywhere for x. 2 times 0 minus 8 over 0 squared minus 16. And of course, zeros don't do anything to our graph. So negative 8 over negative 16 reduces to positive 1 half. So right in here, it crosses the y-axis. <clears throat> And the next thing we look for is our x-intercept. To figure out what our x-intercept is, we always look at your numerator. We solve the numerator. So let's solve the numerator. We have 2x minus 8 equals 0. So 2x equals 8. So if I divide both sides by 2, I get an x-intercept of positive 4 which should make you be suspicious. We have an x-intercept of positive four where we're supposed to have an x or a vertical asymptote, okay? Which can't happen. We can't have an intercept and an asymptote at the same place. That's not allowed. So that should be giving you this idea that something strange is gonna happen there. And that strange thing, strange thing that's gonna happen is this graph is gonna have a hole where the graph crosses x equals 4. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and sketch a graph of this real quick. Let's do it in, we'll just do it in red. No, we'll do it in, yeah, we'll do it in red, but in that size red. <clears throat> so the graph has to not cross the y-axis and go down here to this asymptote. Okay, and then from here, it's going to come down through the point one half, if I got it there, and continue on until I get to positive 4. At positive 4, I'm going to have a hole in my graph. Okay, it's really close to the y-axis, um, but not exactly on the y-axis, <clears throat> and we'll continue on after the hole. So this is what happens when we have um, an intercept where we have an asymptote an x-intercept and an asymptote. If that ever occurs, you don't actually have an asymptote, you have a hole at that place, okay? Uh, thanks for watching, hopefully that has uh, improved your math skills.